government of Kenya is committed to ensure all its services adopt a digital format. Jeff Thuo, managing director of Koseke Group, say this is at a digital training workshop for the public and private entities held in Nairobi. <laughs> Most universities have now been opened in the rural area. We have universities in Maseno, Kibianga. We're having a lot of women now moving into the IT space. I think why there were a lot of urban um, ICT people is because most universities were in the city. But now with the spreading out of university, many TVTs becoming university, we have seen a big number of girls taking up the IT space. And that's one of the things I do. I do a lot of internship for women. This particular government is doing a lot um, and is very... ...transformation process. Kenya and Egypt have signed bilateral agreements, among them free visa entry for diplomats and official passports in three weeks' time. Kenya's Foreign Affairs CS, Dr. Alfred Mutua, signed the deal with his Egyptian counterpart, Sameh Shukri, during discussions in Cairo. The two also discussed on ways to enhance social, political and economic cooperations between the two countries. We welcome our discussion about uh, the getting to a free visa regime and I think we've agreed that we work the next two, three weeks so that by the 1st of April from now our government officials, diplomatic passports and service passports, official passports they can come visa free. And then now we discuss within six months, as we put, so that by September, October 1st, we can have an agreement to look at security parameters for there to be a free visa regime. We want a child, we want a family, we uh, want a player uh, in Egypt to wake up in the morning and say they're coming to Kenya for holiday, get into a plane and enter Kenya as if they're Kenyan. And the same to us. With the new administration and with the pres and also the new president coming to office, and this is a new era of the brotherly relations between Egypt and Kenya and between the two peoples. Um, and I th that this visit also paves the way for an opportunity to have uh, talks, expanded talks as well. And it also reflects the experience of His Excellency the Minister and also to discuss and also to discuss the strong will, political will. Winners of the fourth edition of Eldorad City Marathon were early today awarded in Eldorad Town. The event was graced by Wasin Gishu Governor Jonathan B and Standard Group CEO. Orlando Liomo, the Eldoret Marathon Race Director and former marathon champion Moses Tanui was also in attendance. PLC has been the media partner and one of the sponsors of this event from inception. And uh, other than just covering, of course, the marathon, we've also been very active in uh, supporting the climate action initiative side of uh, what the Eldoret City Marathon tries to uh, promote. So we believe that we'll continue doing that, we'll continue giving it the prominence and the visibility it deserves. But also we want to continue being an active member of the Climate Action Initiative of the Eldoret City Marathon because it aligns with one of our pillars which is environmental conservation. happy that uh, today we have paid the athletes. It has been very difficult here for, for us as Eldoret City Marathon but um, we thank God that uh, this thing has end and we we'll move on with the next marathon. Uh, for this year, you know, we continue growing the marathon. So this year also we will try to put it as uh, a big marathon and become one of the international marathons. What I want to say is that we will, uh, we will try to change the route this year because of um, we, have now, we have now the bypass and we want to make sure that maybe the whole estates can, can uh, the marathon can go through. For example, um, maybe Kipkaren, Langas and 
the other parts of the city so that everyone in this town uh, or in this city can watch the marathon from the facility. You're watching News Desk. We want to take a break. I'll be back shortly with more news updates.